technology is evolving and the methodology is maturing, our approach and what we do actually on the ground is, is improving day by day. There is a lot of uh, new techniques, new tools, new approach. Technologies that was present 10 years ago and now, it's a vast difference. And the way we use, for example, mapping and GIS back 10 years ago and now, it's a complete different world. From the Humanitarian Disarmament Department of, of Norwegian People's Aid, we have uh, an average of 1,800 people globally who are actively working actually in, in the field. Currently, we are active in more than 22 countries. That is in Asia, the Middle East, and Latin America to Africa. With tools such as GIS, you can do a lot more with less efforts, and you, you don't have to be actually physically on the ground. You do a lot of preparations in the office. Using uh, GIS has completely transformed on ArcGIS in particular, ArcGIS Online in particular, because uh, it's not a static, it's a web browser, sort of you just go online and it doesn't require an installation. It is fast, it's intuitive, it's got all the functionalities that's required for key decision makers to visualize basically the map. And as soon as you put your data actually into visualization, uh, into a map, it's already information. It's not that anymore because you can immediately see where the contamination is, which direction it is, and uh, the scope, the density, the locations. There's a lot of things that you can learn. And you can do zoom in, zoom out without static maps. For example, it used to be static maps on the wall, which we don't do anymore. That is changing. That is changing every day and you make decisions every day. So that is, that is completely different from what it used to be.